Hello and welcome to another RoboLink tutorial. Today we will be going over how to use the Arduino Sketch IDE. So first off, um, in order to create new files, what you're going to do is you're going to click on this. This allows you to create a sketch. Sketches are what we will be writing our codes on, as well as uh, it's our programming workspace. Next, whenever you have a new sketch, what you're going to want to do is you always want to create something called a void setup. And the void loop. These two prompts are generally what starts your program. So without these two codes, you actually can't run any program on the Arduino Sketch IDE. Next, after you have completed your code, you have to compile it. The compiler just makes sure that all your code that you have written is correct and it's all uh, set up correctly. And next we have an upload. This allows you to upload whatever code you have just written into your microcontroller. So if you are completed or if you have completed your code, all you have to do is press upload and it downloads your specific sketch onto your microcontroller. Next, we have this button. What this does is it opens previous sketches that you have created. So after you have created a sketch and saved it by pressing this button, or pressing Control S, um, you can save your code, and then you could always locate it and, up and open it this way. Next, we have a serial monitor. Serial monitors are used for graphical or visual representation. If you're trying to, say, display the number from a sensor and you don't have a visual display output, then what you could do is you could always use a serial monitor and use that to display the numbers that your sensors are reading. Next, we have libraries. So libraries are just codes that allow you to add more functionality to your code as well as your component that you're using. So if you ever need to find your libraries that you're going to be working with, you just have to click on sketch, import library, then find the library that you're interested in. For this case, we will do servo, click on it, and then it gets displayed right up here on the top. <clears throat> Next, what we're going to go over is tools. So under tools, you're going to see the word board. Please make sure that you are always using the right board when you're uploading. So depending on the project you are working on, for example, I'm working on the Smart Inventor board, I would click on this one. If you're working on a different board, like say the Arduino Uno, you'd click all the way up here but just make sure that you have chosen and selected the right board when you are working on your projects. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment box below. And thank you again. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video.